Slurs, slurs, they do No, I said bring was the example in your note. So use another verb that is not in your note but must be a transitive verb. Okay, while you are still thinking, Joanne. Sir? All right. So give me one verb that is transitive verb apart from what is in your note. Please get a pair for me. Please what? Get a pair for me. Get. Get is the verb. So get. Yeah. Get demands an object. That is very good. Uh, Shikemi, over to you. Give me one transitive verb uh, that is not in your notes. Bella, are you ready? Yes. Sir. Okay, give me your answer. Yes, I open. Do you have Do you what? Have teeth. Have, okay, have is a verb. So, to use have, but uh, uh, it's not uh, a real action. Okay, you've tried. Uh, Kemi, over to you. Yeah. Yes, over to you, answer. Yes. Okay, Femi, give me a transitive verb that is not in your notes. Yes, Femi. And check me if you are ready, let me hear from you. Yes. Femi, I'm waiting. Femi, can you hear me now? I'm ready. Okay, yes. Give me your phone. I'm ready. Give me your answer. Give me your answer. Not that you are ready. Just give me your answer. She. What do you call it? A. Can, can you please open the Can you please open the door for me? Okay, if I might be right, we used open the last class. Yes or no? Okay, okay. So we're going to move straight away to what we have today. I'll be sharing the white screen with all of you now. Femi, you are back. Okay. I'm waiting for Fisayo and Zion to join the class. Anyway, uh, so we I'll be sharing the board with you now so that we can go ahead to learn today's topic. And the date is the uh, 4th of August. 2022 and the topic we have for today is uh, question tag question tag question tag yeah I can say to define if I is just joining now To define question tags, yes, uh, in grammar, let me see something here. So, what is the topic today, every one of you? Isaiah, let me hear you. 
Good morning, sir. Yeah, yeah good morning, how are you? Question tag. Question tag. So, uh, Pisaya, I was asking a question before you uh, joined. I was asking about transitive verb. Can you give me one transitive verb apart from the one in your notes, Pisaya? Don't call my phone. The way you put Don't call my phone. I'm hearing background noise in yeah. there. I'm warning you, don't be putting it there. I'm hearing background noises from one of you. Please, so, Pisaya, okay. Sir. Pisaya, let's Please see what you want to Bring my bag. Yeah, we will use bring the last class. Anyway, that will be uh, later. Okay. So let's put down what's on the screen now. In grammar, question tag is a very short clause at the end of a statement which changes the statement into a question. Can you read that, everybody? In grammar, in grammar, a question tag is a clause at the end of a statement. very short. At the end of the statement, which changes the statement. Okay, we are talking about question tag. We're talking about question tag, and question tag is something like a very short clause. Those are the key words there. Very short clause. Uh, at the end of a statement, it changes that statement. You know, it's at the always at the end of a statement, and it change. It attempts to change that statement into a question. Yes, it changed that statement into a question. So that's the function of a question mark. It changed. It, uh, it changes the statement into a question. So it turns it into a question. Don't forget, it is, it's a statement. Yeah. So eventually turns into a question. We're going to look at examples now of statements that uh, are going to turn into a question. So examples. Can you all see the board? Can you all see the board? Yes, yes sir. Yes. Okay, very good. Yes, sir. So yes. now we're talking about uh, question tag, and we're talking about examples of question tag. So let's look at some statements that we will use tag to change into question. Example one. If I have a statement like, uh, maybe let me make a statement. If rain is falling. The rain is falling in the statement. But if I want to turn it to uh, a tag, a question, the, the question tag will be, isn't it, you know, like, is rain not falling? So, isn't it, isn't it? That is uh, the, you know, the rain is falling, isn't so that is the question tag at the end of that uh, statement. You know, the question tag is attempting to turn uh, to turn a statement into a question. Turn a statement into a question. So, isn't isn't Let me do something there. Okay, let's look at another one. 
another statement that we can turn into question. Number two. He is around. You know, he is around is a statement which is telling us that somebody, a particular person, is here or is at home. So if you want to turn it to you know, question tag, it's still going to follow the same format above there. But it's, instead of he, it's going to be she. Isn't she, you know, isn't she? Now, what are the question tags referring to here? In example one, the rain is falling. The question should be, isn't it falling? But we're not going to put that falling. So you just say, isn't Then, number two, she is around. And it should have been, isn't she around? Are you getting that? I'm hearing background noise from one of you. So, are you getting that now? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, um, those of you that came late, I'll see. I'll still ask you your questions later. Ngozi, let me hear from you. And Zion, let me hear from you. Ngozi, join with your video and unmute. Then number three example that I will have here. Number three. They are not coming. That's a statement. They are not coming. They are not coming. So turning it to question will be, are they, you know, like, are they coming? They're not going to put the coming there. So are they? That's the question. That's the question tag. The question tag there is, are they? Um, Erin, you are late, but um, you're welcome. I'll still ask you a question about the last class later. So, we're looking at question tag today. It said in grammar, a question tag is very short clause at the end of a statement, which changes the statement into a question. So settle down, please, Erin. Then, we looked at examples. Example one said the rain is falling. Example two said uh, she is around. And example three said they are not coming. They so and the question not. becomes are they? That is, are they coming? Now example four. We will not hold class. Tomorrow. Now, for this, we will not hold classes or will not have classes tomorrow. The, the tag there. See? Fine. Mm. Okay, somebody was trying to say, is that she came in? What are you saying? Let me hear you. So the tag there will be will we that is will we hold class tomorrow? So and it's going to be we will we hold class tomorrow. We won't hold class tomorrow. So that means we have to come to the front. Okay. And let me look at another example before I start asking you questions one by one. Uh, let's say we have number five. Oh, the children. The children. Will resume 
Ungozi, what is the matter? I'm not seeing Join with your video. Are you connected with the video? Try to connect with your video, please. And if it passes, and if it passes, you, uh, you, you leave the class and come back and come in. The children will resume by September. Thank you, sir. Okay, can you see now? Yes. Okay, very good. So the children will resume by September. Now, instead of having to ask a question and say, will they not resume? Should that it will now be, won't they resume? You know, won't they? Won't they? It is won't they resume? Won't they? I'll give you one more example. I'll be asking you questions. So today we're looking at question tag. Number six. Okay. It won't be available on Sunday. It won't be available on Sunday. Uh, let me select that and make it white. So it won't be available on Sunday. The question at the front of that should be Will E, that is, will E be available? Will E? Now, over to the class activity. I'll be asking you questions one by one. I'm going to be starting with uh, Zion this morning. Zion, how are you? Okay, so your question comes. You are the one to pick number six. I mean, number seven for me here. I'm going to give you a statement. We will. Go home after school. We will go home after school. So if this is assisted statement, I want to turn it to tag the question. So Zion, what am I going to write this? Yes. I'm waiting, no time to waste. Won't we? That is correct. So, won't we? Won't we? That is correct. So, that is the correct uh, one there. And uh, the next one is to be answered by Bella. Bella. Yeah. Okay. So she has in in our food. She has in our food. That is the statement. And I want and I want to change that into tag. So Bella, what do you think I should put there? 
What do you say again? Oh, that is not correct. Oh, she came me over to you. As she. As she, yes. As she. Bella. Bella. Now, the statement is negative. The statement is what? Negative. Negative. Why is it negative? Because it has not in it. She hasn't eaten her food. Or if it will be positive if I say she has eaten her food. Are you getting that? So because it is negative, ask a question that tends for a positive answer. Ask she. But since uh, we have as in as she, but if it is she has eaten her food, then the tag will be as in she eaten her food. Are you getting that? Yes, yes. Very good. Um, okay. Who else is raising hand there? What do you want to say? Okay. So now the next one comes for uh Femi. So Femi get ready. Okay, sir. Okay. The driver question The drivers were not oh, let me the drivers were able to fill the tank. The drivers were able to fill the tank. So Femi, what is the question tag that she followed this? Auntie. You said what? Auntie. Oh. Uh, you are almost there. It should be wearing today. It should be wearing today because we use the word wear, the verb wear. So it should be wearing today. If it is are, then you put carrying today. Okay, that's the uh, one there. So wearing today. And that's number nine. Uh, wearing day. So and the number ten goes to Joanne. Number ten. You should always respect. The elder. The elder. Now that is the statement there. I'm hearing background noises from one of you. I'm still hearing the background noise. So, Joanne, what do you think should be the question tag here? You don't you. That is correct. That is correct. Shouldn't you? Shouldn't you? That is, shouldn't you obey elders always? No. Okay, who is yet to answer question? Ngozi. Ngozi, are you ready now? Okay. So, Ngozi, here comes number 11. You said what? That Eri, okay, yes, Eri and Ngozi. So Eri and Ngozi. Eri, I mean, Ngozi, here comes your question. The federal government should be held responsible for insecurity issues. 
So who is the person answering this one? Who is answering this? For who? Who is answering this? Ngozi, yes, Ngozi. So the federal government should be held responsible for insecurity issues. Yes, over to you, Ngozi. What questions are that should come after the statement? Mm, shouldn't they be held responsible? You are not wrong by using shouldn't they. But talking about office, you use you cannot use male or female for office because the federal government is like an office that should be held responsible. So you use the word IT. It should be held responsible. Are you with me? So, shouldn't it be held responsible? Okay. Erin, here comes your own. Erin, are you with me? Okay. Now, number 12, then we round up the class for today. It is obvious, it's obvious, we will be rounding up the class soon. It is obvious we will be running up in class soon. So what is the tag that should come after that? Uh, isn't it? Isn't it? Okay, that's correct. That is, isn't it obvious uh, we will be running up in class soon? Okay. So I can see from here that you all got your stars from question 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So I have lots of stars for you today. Okay. So by that, it comes to the end of the class. So thank you very much, all of you, for joining. Uh, even if you are not through with the notes, you're to make the uh, video very good. I believe everyone is through by now. So, do you all enjoy the class session today? Yes. Yes, sir. Me, where are yes, sir. You? I'm here. You are here. You yeah. Are yeah. Are you yes. Thank you. Thank you. Then, uh, Joanne, are you there? Yes, sir. Tell me, are you present? Yes, sir. Josie, are you present? Yes, sir. Erin? Yes, sir. Zion? Zion, I'm not hearing you. Zion? Okay, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're going to do, uh, call it a day. Now, we meet again on Monday by the way. So make sure you study well and make sure you obey your parents. Sure you don't get them annoyed. Uh, before you close your eyes, I hope you the holidays are going to be over. So enjoy the first part of the day. So thank you very much for today. But then, can I hear from the men? All right. Bye. Bye.